final hour, um, I'm going to quickly run through a few things before we start. So this performance, like all of our performances, is a relaxed performance, which means we have a relaxed attitude to any sounds or movements from our audience members, just for the benefit of anyone who may have been looking to fill the silence or the duration of the piece. If at any point you do want to pop out, feel free to head through the door at the back, there's some water and stuff out there, help yourself, come back in when we resort to it. I will be over here, so you can never shout if you do need anything, we've got some audio looking heads out as well, if you would like to speak to. Um, lights should hopefully stay like this. There was no blackouts last hour, actually. There weren't. And you mentioned it. I know. And now you're just tempting fate. Okay. <laughs> Again. Tempting fate. The DT gets we'll higher every time you say it. Oh, back. dear Lord. And there'll be no light bangs, but there'll be some background music. Hopefully. Yes, there will. Hey everyone, welcome to our 250 of Adventurers Wanted. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, woo. Guys, what are we doing here? Um, no yeah, oh, I think we're playing a tabletop role-playing game. Nice. Yeah, we are. <laughs> um, this is for the benefit of people not in this room. It's for the stream. Hello, stream. If you don't know what's going on right now, there are 249 intros that explain exactly what's going on here. <laughs> I sincerely urge you to go and watch there. Start there, there's a prologue, you can go all the way through, because if you watch from here, there's so much going on. You're gonna be confused, not know what's going on, and it doesn't make sense. So, <sighs> everyone in this room knows where we're at. Everyone in this room knows what's going on. They've been following on the stream outside. They've been watching on the stream outside, they know what's going on. But for the sake of posterity, I will ask us all to go around the table, introduce your character, my character. and say one nice thing about them, what they do on board ship, starting on my far, Far right. Hello, I am Leo and I'm playing Philip Iontaru, the ship's geologist. That's it. <laughs> Did you say you have to say a nice thing about our character? Whatever you want. Yeah, being a ship's geologist is a nice thing. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Guys, come on, we've got to get oh, yes, back into yes. it. Sorry, I'm Chloe. I'm playing Rolora. Um, really hard to uh, say what she is. Right now, she is a uh, Golan sworn enemy. I'm Naomi, I'm playing Bruna Froddle, who's a gnome wizard. Just need to say this because I'm really excited about it. I played her for the prologue, so this is her 260th hour being a player character in this game, and she has Longest survived. Longest running character. Longest running character. She might die now, but I've won. <laughs> she survived at least part of every hour. <laughs> I'm Callum, I can't quite top that number of hours, but uh, I'm playing Loreth, uh, a wizard running by the seat of his pants doing nothing. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Reese. I'm playing Gal with Twinkle Tours, the halfling monk, and um, he is ready and waiting to ram a ship into a great old god. <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm Chaz, and with some spots in the mid 70s, I think I'm the longest running guest character on this show. <laughs> um, spots in the <laughs> Some, something around that. Mid, it's already spots. You are a regular in character who I've, took a hiatus. Yeah, very true. <laughs> um, and I'm playing Golan Height, and, and, and the only thing uh, that I would like to say about Golan is um, your children will die screaming. <laughs> a nice thing, Chaz. Golan's not nice. <laughs> and again, I have to follow that. So, uh, <laughs> I'm Eleanor, and I will be playing Skylar, who is the halfling navigator aboard the ship. And she's probably had the most consistent job out of most people. I think that's also true. No, yeah. I have been head of arcane research for the entire 260 hours. I have always been a geologist. <laughs> <laughs> and I've always been angry. Okay, well then. On, on the that note, people, we're going to kick off and dive back in. Cap, I need the apocalyptic music, please, if you may. Thank you. Apocalyptic. That's always the best start to an evening. Always the best start to an evening. This is the one. Perfect. As we re-enter the moment that we just left at the end of the last hour, Brina holding a wall of force encasing the orb that holds Clathid in the sky. Next to her, Loreth, God damn it. <laughs> Next to her, Loreth and Skylar. Both standing, looking at this orb of force, and the, looking at this wall of force, and the orb inside, trying to work out what to do. As around them, Golan looking up at the sky and a crack in the ceiling, waiting for the revenant that is Relora to return to defeat her once and for all. His pet griffin Chansey pr prowling the edges, not quite sure where she's at with her mama at the moment, but not quite sure what to do about anything that's going on. Below, we find the crew of the Spirit of the Horizon. Philip, <laughs> Galbert. Yep. 
people in the audience. You are all standing on the prow of the ship watching this great old god stomp its way into the Trocken Caldera, the capital of this world that you have made your home. It stomps its way in, screams and cries of horror from all round as swarms of insect like Bayaki and Migo float in around and start taking everything around them out. You're the captain of the ship, Galbert. What do you do? Oh, it was always going to end up this way. We set full sail straight at it. Straight at it? I, I ask if anyone if they want to get off, because this is the last stop. Who's still on board ship? Liabilitas, do you want to get off? Liabilitas, the cleric, is still with you, standing with you next to the, key, next to the Aya? tiller. Aya. Aya is also there next to you. Aya. You were my first friend on this ship. You'll be my last. You were my first friend on this ship. You'll be my last. Frog of Og is also here. Frog of Og is also there. <laughs> <laughs> Frog of Og and Ignis Draco. And Ignis Draco, Ignis yeah. Draco. This small team of Remainers. What have happened to Crewwood Gregarian? <laughs> Died horribly at some point. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Crowley didn't deserve that. What about Devon? Oh god, about all the other NPCs that aren't here. Yeah, that's very true. At this point, Brina, yeah. Lorith, Skylar, golden energy once again begins to surround you. Once again, you are being teleported away from this situation, taken out of the moment and being returned to the ship. Um uh the 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 wall of four the magic can't pass through the wall of force. This is not normal magic. Okay. I'm, I was just checking. As you all realise you are about to go, anything you'd like to say or do at this point is you are about to be drawn away from this moment and taken out of the situation. I'm going to... I'm going to over-channel chrom- uh, Thunder Chromatical, but the... At the you door. can't cast anything. You can, can say something. Oh, you said they do. No, you what would you do. like to say? <sighs> this isn't over. It's been an honor serving with you all. At which point, Brina, a golden hand touches your shoulder. No. Behind you, Sammy looks down at you and says, it is. And the three of you are gone. The wall of force is gone. The orb is free. I dump four Eldritch Blasts to heal the orb. Uh, you have to, the way this works is you can touch it and channel energy into it, but okay. you can't just fire. For my spells, it will do damage to cool. it. Cool, excellent. Well, I'll just run over and Okay, dump roll the damage on those for me. You guarantee hit. Roll the damage on those. Oh, cool, please. Who? Oh, Norton. Norton! Norton! Norton, Norton. 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 Norton Whitefeather <laughs> is also still on board. <laughs> can we, hey, can Tom. we do a tweet to see if Brother Jürgen's on board, please? Of course he is. 21. 21. Right. I think I'm going to assume that all NPCs who are on the Twitter stream are also on board. There we go. I think right. um, Silas is on board as well. There we go. <laughs> right. You have charged those back into the orbit. Is looking a bit more together, a bit more stable. Chancy is there next to you. What would you like to do? Ah, you did fine. I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Roll an animal handling check. Mo- modified 20. Modified 20. Mm. Chansey looks at you with fearful eyes. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know who you are. Doesn't know where she is. She's, she's horrified. Oh. But she won't do anything. Fine. Go then. At which point, golden energy flows up from the ground and around Chansey, enveloping her And next to her stands Sammy, again, looking at you, saying, Golan, you're still in there. Stop this. At which point, Rodora, you feather fall through the ceiling. (laughs) (laughs) Can, Can you tell me, please, about any object, any loose items that are in the space? There are no loose items in this space. There are crystals all over the wall. Crystals, and then there's the orb, and it's on a plinth? Correct. Okay, and that's all stuff that's attached to each other? Correct. Okay. Is it my go? Yes, it is your go. You cast feather fall a while ago. You've been floating down. You just floated in. 
like two other creatures, so I can't do that with it. Um, can I focus Thunder Wave on the orb? Yes. Of course you can. Thunder Wave on the orb. Roll attack on um, the orb. And I would like to cast it. I don't know about time. Sammy's not giving me. No, you don't. I don't know just about it. time, but I've just seen him heal it. Correct. Okay, uh, I would like to cast Thunder Wave at level five on it. Level five Thunder Wave, roll for damage. Yes. Does anyone know off the top of their head? How I will. I will find it for you right now. Um, ah, rules. Perfect uh, for emotional uh, situations. It's two D eight and then. Um, sixty eight. Yeah, sixty eight. That's 20 damage to it. 20 damage. A crack rolls through it. It is not destroyed. The city still stands. The whole city wobbles again, but this orb is still intact. And I, not quickly, I quickly look to Golan because I want to see how scared and worried he is about this. He how should have been cast 10 feet away from the orb as well. Yeah. Oh, you take 20 points of damage. Cool, fine. <laughs> What exactly does Golan look like currently? What do you look like currently? Oh god. He's not quite sure where he's at. Okay. Next to him stands Chauncey with the golden image of Sammy Delasson with a hand on her neck. Spiritual weapon? Yes. It's the hammer, the magic hammer that I gifted Golan for his birthday. Yes. On the orb. Roll for damage. Uh, that's just a D8 plus my modifier, right? Sure. Uh, so that's ten. Ten points of damage. Another crack in the orb, but it is not completely destroyed yet. Go into it's your turn. Oh god, I'm sorry. Oh god, I'm sorry. And then I just shove her in the direction of the door. Get out of here! Frenzied rage, just bang, bang on the orb. Bang, yes. bang. Well, considering how much damage you do in one strike, I'm going to rule that the first strike shatters it. Uh. Your hand passes through her as you push. She turns to you and says, I think our work here is done. Is that Sammy saying that to me? Yes, as the orb starts to crack around where he's hitting it and the entire city wobbles and wavers again. I can't bring you back again. I don't need to be brought back, to be honest. I'm just going to keep going, even though it's just the plinth. Let's just see how much of the plinth I can demolish while I'm doing it. I'm just on autopilot. <laughs> At this point, the entire thing is shattered, and there's a sort of a general effect around the room. And you start to feel under your feet almost a lifting as the city starts to plummet out of the sky. I can feel it. You can feel, you're almost like you're being lifted up into the air as it starts to cool. go. Chansey's still there looking at you with wide eyes. Get out of here, Chansey. It's time to leave the nest, eh? Roll an animal handling check. <laughs> <laughs> 18. Chansey looks at you and comes over and tries to nuzzle you. Good girl, Chansey. She straightens, looking at you. Griffins can't cry. And <laughs> but if they could. Flaps her wings and starts to rise. She's rising faster than she should be because the air around you, the whole, the whole the gravity in this room has gone completely haywire as Chauncey lifts out of the crack and goes. Will it stop, Melora? Will the voice stop? Sammy looks at the two of you, her spiritual form, and is gone. I'll come back to you in a minute. Back on the ship. The ship is sailing full pelt towards an ancient evil god. People on ship are making wisdom saving throws, trying desperately not to go mad. 
which for story purposes all succeed. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Galbert, make a perception check. <laughs> that is <coughs> 12. Philip, make a perception check. <laughs> 14. Brina, make a perception check. Somebody make a perception check. As you reappear on deck. 19. Skylar, make a perception check. Eight. Laura, make a perception check. You're on by C. <laughs> 22. 22. Everyone who rolled above a 15 oh, thank God. <laughs> looks up. Clathed is starting to fall. The energy that surrounds it, this lightning energy that surrounds the city, starts to almost flare and burn as it travels faster and faster, traveling straight down towards you. At this point, Katalo is there. You are there. You're not sure what's going to happen next. Captain, it's coming. Do you want to get off? This is your chance. Right, who's coming with me? <laughs> uh, Please, thank you. Lorith, come here, come here. Anybody else? Normally. Seriously, this is your last chance. <laughs> I have a thesis I'm working on. I don't want it done. Captain, I can take eight people with me. This ship is the only one that I have left. I came back because my job wasn't done. It's almost done. And I'm just going to walk up to you and put a hand on your arm and go, Relora is up there. She's with him. She won't leave him. Not till the end. No. She was never going to. Right. Any eight people who want to get off the ship around me? Same here. Crew members who are in the audience, what would you like to do? Aya thinks to herself, fuck it. She grabs Galbert by his shirt. Kisses him. Aya kissed Galbert! Aya kissed Galbert! For the stream, Aya just grabbed Galbert and kissed him. <laughs> All right, and you're okay, staying. Yeah, We're going down together. We're going down together. <laughs> Lie the letters? Uh -huh. <laughs> Liability stays. Rob? Rob has managed to accumulate a large collection of algae. <laughs> and would rather not leave it, so you also stand by the ship. Other NPCs are able to make their own decisions. Um, right, so... <laughs> um... A doctor may not leave the ship, but the geologist will. <laughs> In all seriousness, I love you all. This has been the best adventure of my life. But it's I'm not letting the elf bloodline die here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, hang on, I'm texting with Silas Bullstrade. I mean, I'm psych psychically messaging, messaging Silas Bullstrade. I'm sure he's um, coming to. Uh, he, he might not. He wants. He said, would he get promoted to the head of Arcane Reese? I don't know! <laughs> right, it's your I, I, yes. I said he's. I just told him he's going to die if he stays on the ship. So, Fine. Um, sure, so right. What are you, cast, what are you casting? Do uh, this. I'm casting Teleport. I take the nearest eight people. Whoever runs up to me is coming with me. Same. I take Lorith with me, and we're going directly... Which is the furthest city have away? Have say something to Brina? Yes. Skylar. I pop. I take off my uh, like my, uh, my my leather holder from my charts and hand it to you. And say, make sure these get to somebody who can use them. Thank you. And um, I grab onto a hand of gum. Uh, is there any gunpowder on the ship? Uh, on the, it's in, way below in the hole. God damn it! <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have anything from Silver Peak, but I'm gonna t take us to Silver Peak if we can. Uh, uh, Violet wants to teleport to the um, Jürgen uh, stays. safest place he can think of right now, which is his happy place, <laughs> which is the lake below the caldera. <laughs> Violet teleports to random dungeon A. Splendid. Okay, fine. If anyone would like to come with me, I'm probably a little bit safer to go with. Necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, Silas stays apparently to die as head of arcane research. Fine. That's not happening, Rob. But <laughs> at which uh, point I go to Silver Peak. At which point you teleport away. Only the last remain, as the ship speeds towards the great old god, 
And as the great old God leans over the ship, ready to lay it completely to waste, in the falling city, there is a roar around you. The noise is almost deafening as bits of this chamber just start breaking off the wall and falling upwards. That's how fast this is now going. You are both floating in midair. Are we, are we close to each other? You can be as close as you like. All right. Um, just within five feet, if I can grab her shoulders. Go for it. Um, telepathically. <laughs> so. Laura, I never had children, but if I did, I'd want them to be like you. Oh, I'm, so <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. Not done yet. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Um, can she, does she have to reply out loud? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're someone I would want to make proud. <laughs> and I'm just, do it. I'm just, as, we're, it. As, as we're falling through the air, I'm just going to embrace Rolora as we fall. Fellow GMs, we have a very large dice roll to make. <laughs> <laughs> as the meteor that is now Clathid tears its way down and impacts Catalo in the back of his head. There are about 40 dice being rolled right now, by the way. There is a I wish Crewwood was alive. I need a hug. <laughs> no one told me I needed to bring tissues. <laughs> you came to the end game. No so. one told me I should oh, have. I I should <laughs> You've been here before. You knew what was going to happen. That's on you. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> <laughs> he's staying on the ship, hoping everyone will get naked. No, he's on the ship. So if you want to stay on the ship and right, die naked, number. that's fine. I rolled low. I did not. <laughs> We're only rolling uh, ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's this is my last roll then. Cool. Oh. It might. Rebellions are built on hope. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot. Good. Bear with me, sorry. It's fine. This is going to take time. That's the whole point. Keep making people cry. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it bad that this is the most? Tense and action packed moment of the entire 250 hours. Three separate people doing maths around a table is the end game of this 250 hours. It's tabletop role play, it's the name of the game. Also, okay. I'd like to point out that a resident cleric is throwing tissues at the. Yeah. Oh, God, can I have one? Liabilitous is throwing yeah. tissues at one? the players. Okay, I've got my number. Got mine. I too have mine. What's yours? All right, Liabilitus wants to Would say you something like us quickly. To announce ours for the no, for the we'll drama? do it all in one go. Oh all God. in one go. Liabilitus <laughs> wants to say something. Could he say something before this island lands on the guy? Sure. I would just like to gather all the remaining crew Microphone. People can sit there. Yeah, 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 come, come up, come up, come, come up, come up. Quick come on, Jamie. So, just as everyone on the ship who has stayed. Yes. I'm going to gather them all as best I can mm. to the helm for one last group hug. I know what you're doing, yes. you monster. No. <laughs> no. Yes! And you know what I'm talking about. At the last moment, I let go. Because it's not going to be enough. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Everyone, yeah. let, me, let me finish. Oh, my God. Sit down, buddy. You have killed it. The entire city impacts on the back of this ancient evil god. And it shatters. The lightning bolt energy that surrounds it tears it to pieces, absolute pieces, as it crushes this creature down to its knees into the water. The lightning that surrounded the city now surrounds the body of Katalu. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, surrounds Katalu. You can see this on board ship. He's not healing. The pure magic of this has impacted him and hurt him, and he is very, very badly injured, and he is not healing, but he is not down. You're the captain, Gal, but what do you want to do? Can we get how much damage it Oh yeah, 
It did a total of 1,426 <gasps> points of damage. Oh my god. That, that is... Unbelievable, I know. Uh, nearly enough to kill him. I know, so close. But he's not down. Wow. Well. Ramming speed. Ramming speed, full speed, straight into the nearest thing. If he's kneeling, I guess his head would be in range. Mm. Center of the chest. The spirit of the horizon powers forward, making full speed ahead into the now sunken torso and <coughs> shoulders and chest of this gigantic <coughs> being. The prow sharpened so elegantly, so effectively, to be the one final strike if needed. As it plows forward and drives in, I need the captain of the ship to make an attack roll. <laughs> Are you <all> kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not! This is what happens when you let him do it. Can we say that the navigator is assisting us? <laughs> Excuse the door. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty-four. <laughs> well, that hits. Oh, thank God. <laughs> just. Guys, I want to make clear for the record that if he'd rolled any lower than that, it might not have done. <laughs> it's very close. Oh, we realised. <laughs> <laughs> the ship ploughs head-on into the god. The prow cracks immediately as the entire ship is almost concertinaed together as the entirety of the ship just starts ramming against a completely immovable object. It digs in and pushes and pushes. Everyone on board, there's a gigantic crack. You are knocked off your feet as you see the rest of the ship splintering as it goes. It looks like it's not going to make it until a blast of golden energy surrounds it one final time and it rams almost completely in. The teleportation circle under the steering wheel that you placed as a contingency about two hours ago takes eight people. Who's left by the helm? (gasps) Silas was there as well. Seven. And you let go, right? Where were you taking them? Um, okay. Chancy. Can we put Darren in there just for Brother Jürgen? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, Chancy. Chancy got Chancy. tail flew back to the ship. Chancy flew off. Chancy flew off. Fine, Tom. Galbert, as you stand at the head of your ship, as this impact happens and you feel this, <coughs> you've managed to hang on to the steering wheel of the ship as it impacts and crashes full pelt into this monster, suddenly underneath you, a teleportation circle opens and you and most of your remaining people by the helm are spirited away. Liabilitas, you're the last one there. Liabilitas! Liabilitas, you (laughs) Liabilitas has sacrificed himself for the the people who were alive. Liabilitas, the last thing you experience is a roaring explosion as every last piece of gunpowder on this ship erupts in flame. From an outside perspective of non-player characters, the god falls, the ship impacts, there is an almighty explosion that almost whites out the sky. As it settles, There's a corpse of a gigantic elder god floating face down in the caldera. You've defeated it. Yes! Um, Galbert. Yep. You and some of your crew are in Queen Tabris's palace? Yeah. Philip, you, you appear to be um, in an underground cavern. I was, <laughs> with, with Lorif. Brina, you appear to be um, in Queen Abelzim's palace, I'm guessing. Uh, I, I, said, I said Silver Peak. So oh, Silver Peak, yeah, so you're yeah. with Elowen. Yeah. So none of you know what's happened. No. None of you can see this. I will say <laughs> as soon as I was teleported, I'm going to start walking back, <laughs> just to see okay. what happened. 
And I'm going to bring all my NPCs with me. I I took NPCs. And Jeffrey. I took Jeffrey, because that seems like, you know, I'm his boss. It seems like I should look after him. (laughs) (laughs) At which point, I need the entirety of the crew to make a charisma check. Just a charisma trick with your, your character's charisma. You know what that is, mate? What? That's a nat 20. Oh, yeah. good timing. Plus zero, let's go. Nine. Nine. 15. Snap! 15. Nine. Nine. 18. Wizards. 18. Yes. Everyone below a 10, you faint. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Full circle for Brina. She used to faint quite a lot. Everyone above a 10, you have a vision. Guys, can I call you up? I need you. Absolutely. If this is a vision of Sammy and I don't get to see it, I'm going to be annoyed. Before you stand a plethora of gods. Oh! <laughs> yep. <laughs> the gods of this world. Why? I don't know. Um, you have... This would be the point to point out. Skylar has never been religious. <laughs> no, I'll be like that. You'll be Snake, like that. Oh, you be Manakiri, I'll be Rahapat. Can no, I be Rahapat? You be Rahapat. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Mahakiri then. <laughs> At uh, which point Mahakirio, this gigantic platinum dragon, says... I am almost lost for words, which is the second feat you have performed against a god in the last six seconds. <laughs> Congratulations. My compatriot here offered you a boon. Oh. <laughs> Edinburgh fireworks just started going off, guys. That's what that is. We would grant the remaining, uh, the remaining members of the Spirit of the Horizon a single wish. Consider it wisely. Every member of the crew in this room is allowed to chip in. What would you like? Wait, how, how many people saw the vision? Everyone who rolled above a 10 on that last yeah, Christmas saving point. So that's me. Yeah, that's you. Um, like, I guess everyone in the audience yeah. who has played a character can have an input. Yeah. I think that's probably fair. Because <laughs> otherwise Skylar's doing that on her own and that seems unfair. <laughs> yes, it would be Skylar and Philip otherwise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. Uh, guys? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going One person has asked for liabilities so far. I think that's. I didn't see the vision, so I can't say what I'd want. That was kind of my first thought. Snake Mother, that's your domain. Would you bring back a death? Go on, it'll be fun. (laughs) (laughs) Go right into the mic. Death is sacred. (laughs) Wait. Death is Her. sacred, but so is this boon, mother. And this wait, is, wait. This, this is a big decision. Our homeworld is destroyed. It has been ravaged. Thank God. And we have been gone, so it appears, for years. If the other members of my crew agree with me, then I'd like to see it restored to what it once was. And I'd like for us all to go home. I understand. This is, if I were in your position, what I would ask for. But you must understand something else. There is no bringing it back without bringing it back. It has been working on this plan for several millennia. It has outsmarted us. It has outthought us. We could not intervene. We needed you and your ship as our champions. If we bring back your world, it is all for naught. If this is what you would ask us, we will grant it. Can we bring back an entire plane of existence? We can try. I mean, it seems like a massive wish. (laughs) You might have to sleep that one off, Pat. (laughs) I mean, in terms of the wish spell. Yeah, no, it's a huge, huge, huge wish. Then if I may. As you will all know, I've never been a follower of the divine. 
I have placed more. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I have placed more faith in the stars and their ability to guide my way. So the one thing that I would ask, and again, if my fellow crew members agree with me, would be to have the spirit of the horizon and all of her crew restored to once again sail upon the seas of this new world that we have come to call our new home. The ship is an easy task. All of them? All of them. All of them? <laughs> Every oh. single one, because there's a couple I think you can avoid. <laughs> could we not bring Sangram <laughs> could we, could we not bring Sangram back? That'd be nice. <laughs> As a god of justice, I wouldn't normally say this, but I think he's right on this occasion. <laughs> yeah, some, some of them are not great, you know, just saying. I should add that I, I, I've been unconscious a lot in the past couple of months, right, so, you know, right. um, yeah. Did but you ever meet Sanguine? Yes. I don't think I did. <laughs> a terrifying guy. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I, I did. Like I him. saw him being turned to ash. <laughs> I saw him being turned to ash. I forgot because I was immediately swollen by a kraken afterwards. Oh, oh yes. So it yeah. has been a really busy couple of months for you guys. Uh, I'm not going to uh, lie. It's been pretty fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Every crew member who holds a place in the heart of another member of the crew. Oh, oh. come on, God. Snake Mother. Does this move you? As the guardian of life and death. This is no easy task, but it can be done. Just bringing people back from the dead is not that hard. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the snake mother. <laughs> you allow mortals to defy you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Pat, let's do this. <laughs> Anytime, baby! Five more hours! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, whatever you want. If this is your wish, every crew member who holds the place of love in their heart with another crew member. Does Are we agreed? Yes. That seems very willfully prescriptive. Do you blame her? No. I mean, are you saying everyone but Golan? Is that what you're saying? Because that's okay. And we can do that. Uh, Galbert's still alive. Golan was loved by Galbert Twinkletoes. Very Seriously? <laughs> Even at the end? Wow. No, I didn't see him turn. He never, he never met evil Golan. <laughs> <laughs> also, is he going to be evil, considering the thing making him evil is like dead now? You're not there. <laughs> I know I'm not there. It's entirely up to you, babe. Whatever you want. <laughs> They don't want like a big keg of wine, so I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, you already gave them one of those. Yes. <laughs> it is easy. Then it is decided. You have shown great courage and judgment. I'm very proud of you. Even though you are not my disciple. I've got some pamphlets if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the vision fades. And you all, bar two, reappear aboard the Spirit of the Horizon. Relora, what did you do when he hugged you? I had sufficient spell points, um, so once he hugged me, I cast Dimension Door to take us back to the warehouse, and then I cast it again four more times, hoping that at one point, once I cast it, the island would have just hit, just smashed, and my teleportation magic would work to take us to one of, uh, basically, as, as far as it could take us. Please roll a d20. Just a d20. And I love that this is the last roll of this game. Oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> oh, come on, Laura. <laughs> Oh no. It's just a flat one. Yeah. Four. You teleport, both of you, to the warehouse space. As the city falls, the air around you is burning. You try and cast it again and again and again, but it doesn't work. When the city impacts, you are both immolated by the blast.
and you don't return. Galbert, you're back on board the ship. It is restored in the best form it could ever have been formed in. It looks clean as a whistle, which you like. It's, oh, I'm mixed feelings right now. <laughs> the crew, almost all of them, are returned. They're all standing on deck. It's very busy. Are we still unconscious? No, you've all returned as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the entirety of the crew, bar its hopefully reunited in death captains, are all sitting in the, mid in the middle of the Trocken Caldera, and you all made it. What would you like to do? Can I walk up to him and just go, it's what both of them would have wanted, and it's what both of them would have needed. Captain, would you like a hug? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, yes, so we will you. end Adventurers Wanted. <laughs> So, so very much. Um, we have ended early. I'm sorry if you bought a ticket. <laughs> um, can we have the music off before I start welling up again? <laughs> While Chris recomposes himself, could we have a round of applause for our three GMs who wrote yeah. this, who did, yeah. they did, they did the damn thing? Um, we also have a round of applause for the one person Without which, this wouldn't have happened. Um, Chloe, this was your brainchild, and you brought us all together and made it work. <laughs> you did it. No, you, you guys made it work. <laughs> uh, and let's not forget the tireless, literally tireless stage managers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Really absolutely. Really absolutely. Really <laughs> There are too many regular players to thank. Everyone in this room, you have been part of something that we didn't think would end quite as incredibly as it has and has been a remarkable journey and thank you for being a part of that. Even in every small way, every ticket purchaser and every audience member has been part of this and it's not doable without support. Thank you all. Day, um, and I'm sure on the behalf of everyone who's been watching this for the past 250 hours, just say a massive thank you to everyone who's helped put this together because it has been amazing. And on a personal level, this has been my first experience with a tabletop game ever, and so thank you for making it <laughs> such an incredible one. <laughs> I was playing the last hour of us, man. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? I'll be back next year. <laughs> On that note, let's turn the stream off, let's tidy up in here, and let's go get a drink. Bye, stream! Bye, stream! Bye, stream. Woo! Could we... Go